okay yeah so on this video i talked about how i take pictures and then i took a picture of my dog and then i edited it edited it edited it well that sounds super weird edited it yeah but i took a bunch of photos of my dog <laughs> that's how the photos turned out and then i took i think a video of my coffee machine oh that camera is actually right here Da -da -da -da. It's this camera. This camera is the Sony A7C, so it's a full frame camera, but with the body of the 6000 series. So it's really awesome. I really like video. Well, I've always liked it, to be honest. I used to Photoshop um, photos of myself when I was like in middle school. I have those photos. I can show you these photos. Like, they're not very good. Like, I didn't, I didn't go ham with the Photoshop. But I'll show you. I just tried to make them look like kind of like princessy. The I think the reason why. Okay, so there's um a friend in Discord. I've known him for like eight years, and his name is uh David is Cookies. He's also in. He's also sometimes in the stream. But he got the Sony A6000, and he gave it to me for free. He just gave me that camera, so it was my, like, first digital camera. Well, second. My first digital camera was actually Samsung, and it got stolen. And, um, he gave me his Sony A6000, and then when I... And then that's kind of how my photography journey had kind of grown. Was from him giving me a camera for free. The Sony A7C, or, yeah, A7C is perfect for video camera rig. Oh, yeah, I love it. Yeah, for video, it's great. So the camera I'm using right now is Fuji because I really like the color quality of Fuji. Sony doesn't have good colors. The colors are quite bad. I think um, the reason why I like to use this one for streaming is because the quality of the colors is just so good. I used to use my Sony cameras, but you have to do a lot. Like, I think Sony is better for if you're going to post process and like use, you know, and color grade it and stuff uh, because it's really washed out the color quality. I, yeah, my first one was a Samsung camera, and Samsung made amazing cameras. They don't exist anymore, and I was really bummed out, because if you want to get a Samsung camera, they're so expensive now, because they're like a, they're like a fan favorite, but they're really rare. Mess around in Raw Editor, I, yeah, I usually go with Raw Editor, but when you're live streaming, unless you have like a LUT, actually, you know, I have some LUTs, let me show you. So, this is... Uh, what the camera looks like with no changing whatsoever. And then if I apply a LUT to it, this is what it looks like with a LUT. So it kind of adds like kind of more, uh, kind of a softness to it. You see, like, so this is with no, this is no changing it whatsoever. Like this is what the camera, like, this is just what the camera looks like. And then if I apply a LUT, it adds a cute little softness to it. Kind of a little purple tone into my skin. Yeah. But what's nice about the Fujifilm is you don't need any LUTs at all and the colors look this good. But with Sony cameras, when you stream with a Sony camera, you need like a lot of uh, adjustments because it doesn't look very good. Like the... I actually showed it the other day on stream, but when I was showing uh, what the camera... like what this camera looks like, my skin almost looks gray. Like I almost look like alien or like sickly because my skin's really gray. Do I ever do editing on the go? I do. Well... If I do editing on the go, what I will do is I'll upload the, the photos from my camera straight to my phone and I'll use Lightroom on my phone to edit up the pictures real quick. Let's see, maybe I can go into Lightroom. How I would adjust my LUTs for my Sony camera is I would like, I would film myself for like two seconds with nothing, like no adjustments to the camera at all. And then I go into uh, Lightroom and then in Lightroom I will uh, kind of like adjust the colors how I want them. Don't go near Area 51. You know, that's funny. I've been near Area 51 a lot. There's a gas station out near Area 51 called, uh, I don't know what it's called, but they sell alien jerky and, and alien tequila. I was experimenting with taking really dark photos and then editing them to be brighter. I forgot how to use Lightroom, to be honest. So I'm trying to figure this out. So I took this photo. This photo is really dark. 
You've been near Area 51 a lot? Doing some <laughs> reconnaissance on her crash ship. I just was looking for it. That was all. Wait. So this is what the photo looked like raw. This is the raw photo. No editing at all. It's super dark. And then with a little bit of editing, this is how it looks. So I really, I really cranked up like the exposure. Like you see the exposure over here is cranked up. It was super underexposed. Yeah, I was ex I like to experiment. So I was experimenting uh, with severely underexposed photos to see if I could save them. Basically, this is what I do when I'm bored. Sometimes I'm like, oh, I'm bored. Let's uh, let's let's take photos underexposed and see what happens. I took a picture of my brother. We went to Disneyland. Oh, apparently I didn't edit that photo. Nice. Did I edit this photo? Oh, not much. Yeah, this is my little brother. He has the same big ears as me. And then... This is... This is him and his girlfriend in front of the castle. Me and my brother did Jojo poses in front of Legoland. Or at least we attempted to. <laughs> it's pretty funny. The mustache. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, I say thank you for my brother. You can see, like, how skinny I am. I, like, remember when I told you I used to borrow my brother's pants? Because he had really cool pants? Yeah. You can see, my brother's so skinny. It was super easy to borrow his pants. He does look like Tim... I don't know what it is about him. I think when you see him, like, actually talk... I don't know how to describe it. When you actually, like, see him talk... Well, also when he doesn't have a mustache... He looks more like Timothy Chalamet, but yeah. He, um, when you see him like talk and like his mannerisms and stuff, he's, it's so uncanny. It's weird. That was a cool picture of him. I don't like the editing on this picture though at all. I need to re-edit that. That does not look good at all. I like this photo. Oh, dang. You can really see my style is just like, my style of editing is very like washed out. <laughs> There's this is him and his girlfriend. This was super underexposed. But I was like, I want to see if I can save it. Oh, I edited this picture of myself. So this one, I photoshopped a lot. But the only thing I photoshopped... Let's see if you can see the original. Yeah, so this is the original. So this picture, I took the Pikachu up here. Well, actually, the Pikachu was from a different photo. I took the Pikachu that was above me. And then I moved it... Oh, wait, that's a different one. Yeah, I moved it here. So wait, this is the original. And then this is the edited. Yeah, so this is the original photo, and then this is the edited. So I just, like, made the colors pop a little more. When it comes to, like, overall... I, I don't really know if I like this photo, just because there's so much going on in the photo, and it's like, where do you look? There's Pikachu there, there's trees, and there's so much. It was like a... It was at a mall. And it was just a ton of stuff at a mall. Oh yeah, this one. <laughs> this one I was way, 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 way underexposed. This is the before and this is the after. Like, this isn't even a photo. It's so dark. And then bam. It kind of... I like to add a little grain to it because you get a little... A little graininess. This one, I set up this, like, photo shoot. I just put a white piece of paper behind me. And then I put ye or sorry, a yellow piece of paper behind me and then yellow flowers in front of me and then lights behind me. And then I took this photo. Yeah. I literally just bought a yellow piece of paper and then just put the yellow piece of paper behind me to take this photo. And then this one, I did a big piece of white paper behind me and I overexposed it big time. And then flowers in front of me. Actually, those flowers... Wait. So the flowers that are in front of me are those flowers right there those flowers right there here's a grumpy photo of my dog oh so here i was in utah so this is a bath it's like a bathtub and it's like in the rocks of utah so it's really pretty so this is a hot spring in utah don't mind me i'm not very good at posing sometimes oh yeah this bath is really cool yeah it's a hot spring the hot spring is called Mystic Spring. Wait, Mystic Hot Spring in Utah. I'm wearing a Russian swimsuit. 
Oh, here's more Utah. Here's Hiro when I took him to school. He went to dog school in Korea. <laughs> so, uh... So we got him a little... Little, uh... Got him a little backpack. He's got a little backpack, his little vest. Isn't he so cute with his little backpack? Look, these were his school clothes. Oh my gosh, I'm one of those crazy dog people. <laughs> and this proves it. But, but look at him. Look at that boy. He was so cute when he was a baby. Mm. Oh, here's him in his NASA jacket. Man, I dressed up my dog so much. He had all of the dog clothes. Oh, look at the, Look at that boy. So cute. So smug. Oh, here's here's business hero. Oh my gosh. Look at that photo. Yeah, right. He went from this to like to like street the streetwear. He goes like, "This is business hero. This is I'm a I'm a hype beast hero." Gentleman to hype beast. Here's hero in pajamas. Here's Hero in his, uh... Hype Beast outfits. Man, I took way too many pictures of my dog. Here's more photos of my dog. He is so cute. Look at my dog, he's adorable. Some of these didn't turn out so good. But the ones that did turn out good, turned out really good, I think. Like this one. And this one. He's just a puppy. Oh yeah, here's more. Man, you thought I was done? Nope. There's more. <laughs> you cannot give me a photogenic dog. Oh my gosh, he's so cute. Oh, here's him in his Adidas. <laughs> Why am I like this? I don't know if this is cute or embarrassing. What? <laughs> Lovely glasses. I like how half of these photos are blurry because he just runs at me full speed. I can't focus on him because he's running so quick. <laughs> he's so cute. 